welcome back in this week's Wine Wednesday. Emily is taking you inside a one of a time, one of a kind tasting experience where you can be winemaker for a whole day. Yeah, dream job. Willamette Valley Vineyards <laughs> is letting wine lovers try different Pinot Noir clones and create their very own perfect blend. I put my skills to the test while learning about their new state-of-the-art system they designed to do it. Let's talk about barrel blending. After grapes are harvested, crushed, and fermented, they hang here, creating the right blend of different kinds of grapes and letting these barrels age for the right time together, magic. Winemakers have to taste test along the way to create that blend, and getting to try different barrels throughout the aging process is a real treat for wine enthusiasts, but it's easier said than done. The challenge you have as a winemaker is every time you open up the bung off that barrel and you put your glass wine thief down in to draw a sample out of the barrel, you're introducing oxygen into the barrel. And any time you take that wine thief and put it down in a barrel, you're introducing anything that's on that wine thief into the wine. And, and, and so and you do that repeatedly and now you've compromised that wine that's in that barrel. So Willamette Valley Vineyards founder and CEO Jim Bernot worked with colleagues to design this, a barrel blending system using medical grade pumps to keep oxygen and bacteria out and computer technology to analyze and store custom blends. So it allows us to provide an experience no one can get in the world. This is the first type of barrel blending system of its kind in the world. And so far, they, our, our customers love it. Uh, we'll go through the blending passport. I got to give it a try, learning about the seven different clones commonly found in Oregon Pinot Noir and how their introduction from France was a game changer for the Willamette Valley industry we know today. If you actually wanted to press a button, you are more than welcome to. I get to push a button? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you'll press one of these black buttons as okay. to which clone you want to try. We'll start with the Pomard then, right? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that is so cool. Swirl, sniff, sip, and think. Each clone brings different characteristics of Pinot Noir to the table. Fragrant, bold, dry, sweet. The challenge, to create your version of wine you can't wait to sip. So the dials will actually correspond to this uh, total blend percentage up here, up at the top. Once you get this dial to 100, that's when you get to make your blend. Finally, it was time for Jim to try my blend. No pressure. It's got a nice nose. Yeah. So now, Emily, uh -huh. when you put this blend together, what did you choose among these different clones? So the majority is a pomard. Uh, that was the first one I tried, and it was one of my favorites. It's just such a nice, rounded, earthy, got a nice spice. To me, it, it hits right on that classic Oregon Pinot Noir. And you're right. That's a very dominant clone that we use in our blends. Yeah. So what else did you choose? I've got mostly Pomard. I worked in a little, let's see, a little Vadensville to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, worked in a couple Dijon clones for some fun nose, a little extra perfume, a couple spicier notes, and, and, and to smooth it out. How did I do? Emily, you're fantastic. You know, you could probably give up your day job. If this old TV thing doesn't work out, come, come find me blending wines. <laughs> Cheers. So my wine blend was approved, and I, I don't know if Jim was just saying that to be nice because we were on camera, but um, yeah, he seemed to like my wine, which was very cool. I was I was absolutely nerding out all day. You know, Jim said this has been a really fun experience as a winemaker, too, because some of the blends that their customers have created have given him some ideas. It's it's interesting to get people's insight. As, we're going to see the Burris go in blend, and blend next time. The Burris blend. The Burris blend. Well, what's really cool about their system is they save your blend in a computer um, record you know, that's hooked up to this new machine. So I could go back and get a bottle of my Burris blend anytime I, I want to go try it. So. I'm going to go try it out and I'll bring back my honest opinion Okay, Burris blend. We'll, we'll take you guys out for some, some blending and tasting. Now, uh, they're actually working to try and patent that barrel blending system. It's really cool what they designed. If you want to go try it for yourself, you can make a reservation for groups of two to eight people. Visit WVV.com to make a reservation. It was one of the coolest tasting experiences I've She's I've been geeking out about it all morning, in so the I can valley. Only imagine. Yes.
Yeah. What so. she was like there. Thank you to the team out at Willamette Valley Vineyards. They were fantastic and I had a blast.